Within Autodesk PLM 360, a standard corrective and preventative actions process is provided out of the cloud, which can be easily configured to meet your organization's exact needs. PLM 360 contains full traceability of CAPA processes to records and events that occur both before and after the CAPA. Corrective and preventative action records can be found off of the main menu under the quality category here in corrective and preventative actions or CAPAs. Here inside of the CAPA workspace, we can certainly create our own by clicking on the plus sign up at the top. And here we can enter our title. We can choose our team of approvers for all of the multiple stages that the corrective action goes through. Down towards the bottom, we have different sections to define the problem, the containment plan, identify causes, choose uh, permanent corrective actions, and close it out uh, with preventative recurrence. But in this case, we're going to go back to an existing record. Usually corrective actions are the result of other things like problem reports or in uh, the case of uh, this tutorial, a nonconformance report. This corrective action was spawned off of an NCR from another tutorial and it filled out some of the information but not everything. So let's go in, click on edit, and start to fill out some of the other fields inside of this CAPA. Under the team section, you're required to enter all of the different team members that you will use to uh, define, contain, identify, and see this corrective action all the way through to closure. CAPAs inside of PLM 360 are processes that can take some time. So let's head over to the approval workflow tab and take a look at the workflow and the sign-offs and all of the steps that are involved in this corrective action. PLM 360 has built-in tools and checks and balances that correlate with the workflow and the details tab to ensure that all data is filled out properly before submitting to the next stage. Here we are at the definition. If I click on submit right now, we see that PLM comes back and says that the problem statement and scope must be specified over under the details tab before we can submit. So let's go do that. So meanwhile, back over under the details tab, we've entered some data under the define section for the overheating issue that we're finding. So we'll save this down and now we should be able to proceed with our workflow. Over in the workflow, we can now move this forward and submit this to the contain phase. Now we've seen within PLM 360 how changing workflow can automatically spawn and create records in other workspaces. Oftentimes though inside of PLM, you'll have the ability to on your own create another record. In this case, we can create a deviation and waiver request. This request provides an exception to the normal standard process allowing the use of a part or a design during a short defined period uh, within a quality build or design phase. So let's go and create one. Now within this corrective action, we're greatly uh, reducing the actual amount of time that this does just for demonstration and teaching purposes. But keep in mind that as you move through the different stages to define, contain, identify, and set permanent action, you should be filling out the details tab and the appropriate section that correlates with the workflow step. So next, let's go and submit right to the permanent action phase. Now that the Kappa is in the permanent action state, we have an opportunity to create an ECR or a change request. This ECR can in turn be used to create and spawn uh, an engineering change order. Next, within the implement state, we can implement and choose how we're going to validate that this corrective action or preventative action is actually going to take place. Finally, we're going to submit this to the prevent stage. But when we submit, be sure that you have identified a prevention plan, otherwise it'll come back with a message to you that you should go over to the details tab, fill out your plan for prevention before closing this out. Our final step inside of this cap is to close it out. And upon close out, we can see that the state is set to close and now there is no more editing to be done. Let's take a look at the milestones now that we uh, hit during this workflow. The milestones tab shows us that all of the milestones were hit by their projected dates as we went through this very quick abbreviated uh, workflow within this corrective action. Keep in mind that these milestones are created automatically and can be edited 
removed, added to, and even shifted to meet your needs.